Today we're going to talk about poaching from the downfield cutters into the handler space. This can be an important tool because handler cuts often stray downfield trying to get extra yards and those are opportunities to not only steal discs but to take those into quick fast break opportunities for our offense. The goal for downfield poachers is to make good risk reward decisions. We want to attack the easy throws and stay with our people when we don't have a chance to get the disc. To do this, downfield poachers should anticipate upfield dump cuts. When your defenders on the dump are pressuring to force the dump upfield, or when the mark is rotated, those can be really good times to look for those upfield cuts and start edging towards where the throw might be. This isn't always on the live side. So one thing that you can do is you can start to look at the dead side, especially if a team likes to throw break dumps into space. That might be a time to go pick off a floaty dump throw. This is very situationally dependent. In difficult weather where there's lots of turnovers, it's worth less for you to attack. But in nice weather, and especially against the best offenses, sometimes you need to take some risks to get some reward. We're gonna look at three different poach angles from downfield defenders into the handler space. Now the first is if we're forcing sideline, Sergey has the disc, Martin's gonna to try to attack up the field, and Scotty has really good vision of this spot of the field, especially if he turns his hips in. Ready, and go. Scotty's seeing the play, he's coming from a different point of view than the thrower's looking, and he can come in and disrupt or even block that throw. Let's show that again. Sergey's turning to the dump. Scotty can see the play develop, so he has a good chance to see the field. Martin's gonna make his move. He can start to edge in and get the block. Now it's important that the onus is on the defender. He's the one that can see the play, so if there's contact, he needs to be the one to be the first to avoid it. Either run out of the play entirely or back up and put the mark on. This time, Sergey is not going to throw the disc. Ready, go. And freeze it right there. If Sergey doesn't throw the disc, now Scotty needs to recover because he's left his person. The most likely place to recover is back to the dump space because if anything else, we know Teddy has the line covered because he's pretty close. Scotty's gonna come out of this position and go back behind the dump until he can find his player. Let's start this in three, two, one, go. Good, Teddy's looking for the play. Scotty's looking to come in and recovering back to his handler, excellent. And then we can hopefully heal that and get that disc when it's thrown down the line. Another way to poach is on the other sideline. Now Sam's forced backhand, we're forcing to the middle of the field, and Scotty's putting a lot of pressure on the dump to come upfield. Starting here, looking at the dump, and three, two, one, disc in. Scotty can force his man upfield. Teddy can come in and cause some chaos. Normally, we'd think Teddy would stay with his downfield player, but by poaching into the handler space, we can double team handlers in really vulnerable positions. As Sergey turns to his dump, we are three, two, one, disc in. And Teddy can look for that block, and we're off to the races with a fast break. One advantage of poaching into the handler space is if we get the block, we have numbers up to the end zone. Three, two, one, as Valentin starts his cut, freeze it right there. Now, Sergey has seen this double team, and he's probably gonna react by finding a player in the middle of the field. If Teddy can't get this poach, he's gonna continue through this pile and see if he can stop, even for a moment, this throw to allow the rest of his defenders time to reconnect with their offensive players. Let's try that from the top. Valentin back to the dump. Sergey again, not throwing it. Three, two, one, disc in. Turning, looking for this play. Teddy can't find it, so he's back to the handler. Good. In a perfect world, we're able to try poaches like this and not be beat for quick yards on the other side of the field. A less common poach is into the break side, but if the stack is too tight, some of our defenders in the stack may see opportunities to pick off floaty break side dumps. Ready in three, two, one, go. If Teddy can get a good lead, he can get into space and make a play. In three, two, one. Sam's got it trapped on the sideline. Teddy's reading eyes and freeze it right there. If we can't get this, this is one of the few times where we need to switch after the poach 
Scotty is the one who's out of position for the mark. He'll have to turn and find the next player. So ready, coming in live. You're starting up there at the double team in three, two, one, disc in, turn, find the next player. And now we're back into our defense. Good. You'll know that you're poaching well from a downfield position. If you're picking off a throw or causing a turnover for every time or two that you allow an easy goal. Remember, play hard, have fun, 